morning everyone just make a right back at you today with another quick video a few days ago I posted a video where I explained to you how you can increase your FPS your performance and your visuals for Microsoft Flight Sim I showed you how to deep load your Nvidia driver do a clean install of that driver in Windows safe mode using display driver uninstaller I showed you a tweak you can do to the sim that enables the Nvidia DLS frame generation for 20 and 30 series graphics cards and then I showed you how to get the latest DLSS file version 3.7 downloaded and activated for the sim. So today I thought I'd come back and do a comparison video for you. One with frame generation on and one with frame generation off. So on the left hand side of your screen where it's split, you're looking at TAA mode with frame generation turned off. And on the right hand side of the screen, you're looking at uh, NVIDIA DLSS Super Resolution with DLAA and frame generation turned on. Before I start the approach, I wanted to go over the in-game FPS counter for a second. You can get that by going into Developer Options. Turn this on. This menu up here will populate. You go to Debug and you select Display FPS. The reason I want to show this to you is if you notice up here, this is flickering and this is saying limited by main thread or limited by GPU. So basically my CPU or my GPU. You're always going to be limited by something no matter what hardware you have. What you want to do is start up a flight on the ground and then start dialing in your graphics settings so that your latency here on your main thread and your latency here on your GPU are close. Mine are off a little bit right now because I'm in the menu, but once I'm in the flight, they're pretty much bang on. So if you can dial your settings in to get these so that they're matching, uh, it's supposed to eliminate all like micro stutters and stuff. And ideally on this little graph here, you don't want to see any yellow blips. Okay, and here's my graphic settings. So the approach on the left, TAA mode. The approach on the right will be DLS super resolution with DLAA enabled and frame generation. You don't see it right now because I have to turn on DirectX 12 and then reboot. So I'll come back and show you that in a few seconds. I scroll down, these are my settings for my system. I have a 10900K overclocked to 5 gigahertz, and I have an EVGA 3090 for the Win 3 at stock settings. Everything's on either ultra or high or at their max settings. I don't have endoscopic filtering turned on in the sim. I have it set to 16 times in the NVIDIA control panel. And there's the rest of my settings. For traffic, I have everything turned off because I don't want any variables on either approach. So I don't want any aircraft crossing the threshold. And here's my settings for the approach on the right-hand side, NVIDIA DLS Super Resolution, DLAA mode, and now you can see frame generation is activated and on, and I'm in DirectX 12. Okay, so I'll fire up the approaches for you. Here they are. I use DaVinci Resolve to overlay the two recordings. On the left is uh, TAA mode, and on the right is NVIDIA DLS Super Resolution, DAA mode, and frame generation turned on. I'll add chapters here so you don't have to watch the entire approach if you don't want to and I'll do it by uh, elevation probably every 500 feet. But as you can see um, the results speak for themselves. I'm getting double the frame rates maybe a bit better. On the left hand side I'm getting as high as 60 frames per second and on the right hand side it, it peaked at around 125 frames per second. So I'm getting a little bit better than double the frame rate. Most of my time that I'm in the sim, I play in VR mode in IFR with single and twin engine planes. I like low and slow to the ground, taking in all the visuals the game has to offer. I only chose an airliner, the Airbus A320neo, for this approach because I wanted it to be a bit faster to shorten up the video. I also have both flights set at 12 noon and clear skies trying to eliminate as many variables as possible, which is also why, as I said earlier, I don't have any traffic enabled for this approach. As it gets closer to the ground, the frame rates obviously will drop a little bit as the graphics card has to render more uh, train in detail. Um, let me know in the comments if you've tried my tweak. Um, let me know how it worked out for you. Let me know what hardware you're running. If you have any questions for me on how to improve your setup, 
as far as the settings for the Windows settings for the game, let me know. I'll try to answer all of them. There's um, a couple YouTubers out there that do a really good job with uh, in-depth videos on how to do all of that. I will put links to um, their channels in my description to check them out. I'll give a shout out to both. One is, I believe, uh, Island Sim Pilot, and the other one is, um, I think he's 2020 Flight Simmers. But I'll have links to both in my channel. We're getting a little bit lower, and the frames are still holding pretty consistently. I've been pretty impressed um, with what Microsoft did with this game. I probably will buy the 2024 version when it comes out. Um, when to see what it's going to look like. I probably spent more hours um, tweaking this than maybe my flight time. I don't know. Maybe you're in the same situation. It seems to me I'm always chasing uh, the best performance possible. And... Um, I finally hit it with uh, the settings I'm currently running. And the biggest one for me was understanding the in-game FPS counter and getting the uh, the uh, latency for the CPU and the latency for the GPU dialed in so that they're almost uh, matching. So here we are pretty close to um, touchdown now. We're probably around 500 feet. And my frames are just starting to go below uh, 50 on the left and 100 on the right. So a, a pretty decent result given the, uh, my hardware and how high I have the settings set. Okay, and I'll end the video there. Like and subscribe. Let me know in the comments your thoughts. And we'll see you in the next video. Thanks, everyone.